Hi, I'm Dr. Fern White. I want to tell you today why it's so important to shut your mouth. And the reason is not usually what you would think it is. Nothing to do with talking. It's actually to do with breathing and the breath and why it's so important to breathe through your nose as opposed to the mouth. Now, the mouth does a whole bunch of things for us. Don't get me wrong. I love the mouth. I treat the mouth. It tastes, eats, chews, kisses, sings, a whole bunch of stuff. It's got its own hit list of incredible things that it does for us. The nose does a couple of, well, actually, there are actually about 30 functions to what your nose does. The most important thing that the nose, I would say, does for us is it breathes. We breathe through our nose. And the reason why we breathe through our nose is it filters all the air around us, first of all. So it's one of our first lines of defense. So if you're walking behind someone and they kind of start coughing and spluttering, you're not opening your mouth and inhaling all of that gunk into your lungs. So of course you can have infections and colds and all sorts of respiratory diseases that come from it. The nose, number one, is our filter, but it also humidifies the air. So it allows the air to become body temperature. Otherwise, imagine on a cold winter's day, you're breathing or you're running and you're breathing through your mouth. And how does it feel in your lungs when you get that cold air from outside straight into your 37 degree body temperature? So the nose filters, it humidifies and it detoxifies the air that we breathe. By allowing our breath to go through our nose, we're actually able to take more oxygen that is delivered to our body, okay? So when we feel like we're breathing through our mouth, we feel like we're taking loads of oxygen in, but the reality is it's the amount of carbon dioxide in our body that allows the oxygen that's linked to something called hemoglobin or red blood cells to travel around the body and give it all to our cells because oxygen is the key. That's what our cells need to survive. Without oxygen, our cells die and we're made up of billions and billions of cells. And the oxygen then translates into the cells using it and producing something called energy. How low in energy have you been feeling lately? So one of the key things that I tell my patients is if you breathe through the nose, you're able now to utilize the oxygen a lot more efficiently than if you breathe through the mouth. And there's a whole bunch of exercises that you can do that we can talk about later on. But learning to breathe through the nose, two things that actually people do too much. They breathe too much, they hyperventilate, and unfortunately we're not unlocking those oxygen molars to become energy efficiently anymore by doing that. And the other things too is they breathe through their mouth. And you know the reasons why now. So by breathing through the nose, a whole bunch of things, also like sleep apnea, snoring, can perhaps be lessened or sometimes even treated by just learning to breathe through the nose. So particularly for adults, breathing through the nose is so important. So remember, next time you start to breathe through the mouth, think again of what it's doing to your body. I have one of my girls, um, my hygienist in fact, Rebecca, and I don't think she'll mind me telling you this, but she was an asthmatic, or she is an asthmatic, and she's as a child she had heaps of infections. She had asthma, infections, middle ear infections, you name it, she had it. She suffered when she came to me, sinus problems all the time, low energy, a whole bunch of things. And all we've done with her is we've taught her how to breathe through the nose properly. And there's a whole bunch of exercises we go through. And now for the first time, she said in 30 something years, she's able to breathe through her nose for the first time and her energy levels are skyrocketing. So Next time you open your mouth, think again. Think about breathing through your nose and how incredible that little organ is, or that little body part is, in helping you have so much energy and vitality.